Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl Jay here with a new vlog, starting it off fresh. Welcome if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, so as you can see from the title, y'all, I am now a business owner again again <laughs> again but i wanted to talk to y'all because i need to keep y'all in the loop of what's going on but as you know your girl got a sweet now it just happens so freaking fast matter of fact you know i can't be multi multitasking so let me um get my hair started i'm about to just straighten my hair so i can look like something today i put some little makeup on you know a little something but yeah i wanted to keep y'all updated on this journey as you know my friend heather she was actually at a spa and she ended up leaving that spa and it's actually the spa that i wanted to work for but i don't work there no more i don't work there no more <laughs> so yeah i knew i always wanted to be like solo once i started you know this journey or whatever i didn't want to work for nobody else i didn't want to go to no med spa i don't want to go to no waxing place none of that i want to do it myself and that's just the type of person I've always been. Like, I, I don't want to work for nobody. I want to work for myself. Um, but she started telling me when we was on a little trip in Orlando, she started telling me that about her old job that she left. And she was like, you know what? Um, I went ahead and just got my own suite because I don't have time for the games. You know, I didn't have time for the games. She started telling me about it. She's like, yeah, I think they have a few more suites available. Yada, yada, yada. She told me where it was at. And y'all, so you know I've been going through hell getting my license and whatnot. As soon as I got my license, it was just like, let me just let me just go ahead and look and see what's out there. Because I had been looking at suites when I was in school. Like, I just been looking. After, after that, um, after I got my license, I was like, let me just go ahead and look. So I think I found like three places. And then I had hit up, I think it was all three I hit up. But one guy, um, he texted me, which was weird. So I was like, okay, um, yada, yada, yada. We set up an appointment to tour the place on a, on a Monday. And I think this was on a, what was it, a Wednesday, I think I got my license. He hit me back that same day that I applied for the tour or whatever. He was like, okay, we can do Monday. And I was like, all right, cool. So another place that I had hit up, I'm gonna do one side at once. I'm just gonna flatten my hair. But another place that I had hit up, which is the place that Heather is at, um, the guy actually called me and I had missed his call and I um, ended up calling him back. Oh, my hair smells so good. Ended up calling him back and he just sounds so cool over the phone. Um, he was like, yeah, so tell me, so tell me what's your specialty. So I started, you know, giving him what I do, what I do, because I ain't do nothing at the time. Well, I, I still ain't doing nothing right now. But um, I basically told him that I'm a newly licensed esthetician and um, I mainly do facials because that's what I mainly know how to do for real, for real. Told him that, told him I want to do lashes, brows, and waxing. So he was like, yeah, um, you don't have to book a tour. You can just go into any of my locations and just look. And I told him about two of the locations that I was interested in, which is the one that Heather works at um, and then one closer well i don't think they're closer to me i thought it was close to me but it's like the same distance but i i know how to get to that area faster so he was like yeah just go into one of the locations and you know make it do what it do so after work um it was on a friday me and my sister had went to the location that is closer to me and we went inside y'all it was so nice i love the vibe um the room it was like the older location so it was like rooms that were already used and they didn't clean them yet but it was still a nice vibe in there so i'm just using some tea tree oil sorry if i'm all over the place but yeah so it was a nice little vibe i was like i was so hyped you know i was so hyped that i'm actually looking at places and you know doing this thing just you know just doing it i had scheduled a meeting with him on saturday because he said he lived closer to the location that heather is at and if i could meet him there on saturday then we can, you know, talk or whatever. And plus, these people don't be wanting to give you the information over the phone as far as um, the details of the place, pricing, all of that. They be wanting to see you in person and book a tour or whatever. So anyway, I meet up with him Saturday. Heather says she's gonna meet me over there Saturday, as y'all seen. And it was just like, I don't know what it was. It, the vibe in there was like so fresh so clean, bright, everything. 
he took me in there look at a few rooms and whatnot and the last room that he showed me because all of the rooms they were the same price basically except for the ones that had windows in the front you know the front he said they're all the same price but the last one that he took me into it had a window so i'm thinking the price is higher than a regular room he's like no it's the same price and i was like what i got a window like i i like natural lighting so that room spoke to me the most like it was gonna either be that one or a bigger room but the bigger room was like weird shaped yeah let me start this hair over here brushing hold on y'all i don't got no clips here they all have my mama house and I don't know where my comb is. I gotta use this raggedy comb. But anyway, so yeah, I like natural lighting. That's my thing or whatever. I don't like no dark place where I gotta stare at all these walls. The owner, dude, he's an older dude, older white guy. And my mom went, my little sister went, and then Heather was there. And I'm glad they were all there with me. Just just for the support, I, I, I really appreciate them for being there for me. But the way that he was talking to me, it was like, you know how you see one of them TikToks or YouTube videos where they are like preaching to you like this, the time is now, you need to do this, what you waiting on, the only thing that's holding you back is you type of thing. That's how he was talking to me. Now, me in my mind, I'm always thinking like, yeah, this man's just trying to get my money. But no, I felt like this man was really genuine about, you know, getting me in there and knowing my my experience i really didn't have that much experience and so when he was asking me about my experience or do i have clients or whatever it didn't seem like it was a big deal to him it, it didn't seem like it was about the money to him for him asking me about my clients because he knew i was worried i guess he sensed that i was worried about the pricing or whatever and not being as experienced as most of the people that were already in there with clientele he was basically just telling me like the only thing that's holding you back is you if this is something you really want to do, go for it. And then my, my my friend Heather, she was basically saying the same thing, like preaching to me, saying like, you don't want to be at your job forever. You've been there for how many years and you, you're not happy. So you might as well go ahead and do something that's going to make you happy and, you know, just do it. Everything else will fall in line. My mom was saying the same thing. And it was just like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Of course, my first instinct is just to be worried and like, that's just me. I'm just always worried about something. Now, let me just say this. I do believe in God, so I do have faith. But it was just like, everything was happening so fast type thing. Where it was just like, I didn't even have time to think. I just, you know, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and yeah, so that happened. The guy ended up being there for like an hour and a half with me. Um, just talking to me, whatever, giving us details, talking, just regular talking or whatever. And he was like, well, um, I got to go hang out with my daughter. I'll catch up with y'all later, basically. So then after that, Heather and my mom was just talking to me again. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Like, there's nothing holding me back but me, for real. Like, my whole thing was the money issue because I have a mortgage, right? <laughs> I have a car note. I have all these bills um, already. And to add like another mortgage onto my bills, it was like really getting to me. And I'm like freaking out. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. So I did it. <laughs> I did it. I, I hit up the man, hit up the owner that same day, later on that day. And I told him, um, I'm just going to go ahead and go forth with it. And I had asked them how to do the application because it was asking me for something about the location. I don't know. I couldn't remember. But um, so I was asking him about the location to apply. And he was like, oh, don't worry about applying. You're already, you know, you already got it. And I'm like, I don't have to apply for the room or nothing. Like just meeting you was the interview process, I guess. And he was like, don't worry about it. I'll put everything in the system. Just, um. I can call you later on or I can call you tomorrow. He ended up calling me two days later because um, it was a holiday. So um, I didn't mind because I was doing stuff anyway. Um, so yeah, that was it. That was basically the process of what happened. That same day that he called me to set up everything is the same day I signed the lease. I didn't record that because y'all, I was so busy that day. I was like rushing to go to the, um, get my blood drawn or whatever for work or whatever. But it was just like, it just happened so fast. 
But just know your girl signed the lease, y'all. I need to get my life together. I need to start. Um, well, I had already started brainstorming on what I'm going to do as far as the room details. I need to start doing um, some more research on pricing my services. I need to get my Instagram page popping. By the way, go ahead and follow that right there, right there. And so, yeah, that's basically what happened. I have already had a business meeting with my assistant, with my my support team, basically. So yeah, I have already had a business meeting going over business stuff, not so much the room and um, as far as d decor and designing the room, because that stuff doesn't really matter right now. We need to get down to business type stuff, you know what I mean? So I already have an LLC, but we decided to change the LLC for this business for my esthetician stuff, for my, you know, aesthetics. Lux B is always gonna be Lux B, that's always gonna be mine, okay? <laughs> so let's get that straight. But no, I'm changing my LLC so it can just fit my business, you know what I mean? So today, I'm going to my aunt's house because she's the one that, you know, does all the business stuff. Um, I'm going over there so she can set me up with the LLC and um, business account, Dunn's number, all of that stuff that you got to do for your business she gonna hook me up with that today so i'm just gonna get cute i wanted to do some pictures so i could start posting on instagram like my first post i wanted to be a picture of me telling my story my journey whatever whatever but i wanted to look cute you know what i mean i want to i don't want an old picture that i already used because i was thinking about using my lux b or my um what is it my 111 picture that i had when I first launched 111, that's another thing I want to go over with y'all later, later on in the day. But um, I was going to use that picture, but I was like, no, nah, it has 111 in the back. I need something new. I need something fresh. You know, I just need to take some new pictures. And plus, that was like almost two years ago now. So, you know, you need to get, get it updated. So I want to take some pictures today, maybe do a few TikToks. Um, I'm supposed to be doing my mom's eyebrows. Um, I'm supposed to be doing Kayla's lashes, my sister's lashes, and my dad said he wanted a facial, so we're going to see what we can fit in today. If not, we're going to have to carry it over to tomorrow, but yeah, that's basically what I'm doing today. I'm just going to finish up my hair, get cute, go see my aunt, handle the business, and then see what services I need to do today. So yeah, I'm going to catch up with y'all a little later. All right, y'all, I am back. I'm back and I'm annoyed because these people out here do not know how to drive. They don't know how to park and they just in the way. People are just dumb. But anyway, I had to go to Target. Y'all like my hair? What are you stopped for? But anyway, I had to go to Target and pick up this cart, this rolling cart that I need for my stuff, you know, so I can put my stuff on the cart. Um, the box looks small. So I don't know, hopefully that's what's in that box because ain't nobody have time to be coming all the way back over here. And it's just the traffic over here on this side of town is ridiculous. If y'all in Jacksonville, y'all know the town center area, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, it, it's a mess. I'm at Chick-fil-A, I'm about to get me something to eat. Cause maybe that's the reason why I'm just a little annoyed cause I'm hungry. I had something to eat, I had some of my leftover rice and stuff from um from my Hello Fresh for my hello fresh meal but um yeah i'm still hungry i'm about to get this meal and then head to my aunt's house so i could do what i gotta do and then head back to my side of town so y'all i hate like 90 95 percent of the time when i'm at home i'm chilling no makeup you know regular clothes on you know not looking cute because all i have to do is go to work from home come on go ahead Okay, he let me go. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be looking cute when I be on Snapchat half the time. So now that I'm cute, post a little picture and whatnot, everybody, and when I say everybody, I mean niggas that used to talk to me or tried to talk to me and didn't want to talk to me for real. Now they, now they in my little snaps, sending heart eyes and all of that. And I'm just like, bro, you could have had me but you ain't want me. Now you see I'm looking cute and whatnot. 
this lady looking at me. Now you see me looking cute, whatnot, and you wanna be all in my DMs and all of that. I ain't got time for these people. And I be trying not to be rude. I just leave them on red or I just send them like a little smiley face and keep it moving. But they really be trying to talk to me and I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, I just had to get that out the way because I just hate when that happens. Every time I'm looking cute, some random, he, they're not random, but dudes be in my inbox. Like, no, you had a chance, but you fumbled the bag. You feel me? I forgot what I wanted to order. I always get the same thing. I, I want a chicken sandwich, but then again, I don't. I want a spicy chicken sandwich. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get that. I'm just go ahead and get the whole meal, cause yeah. Good, how are you? Good, can I get an interview? Yes, J-J-A-I. Right, ready, This is just a day in the life of a newly solo esthetician. I got some business cards here. Lux B. The only thing I don't like about the business cards now is that it doesn't have my uh, business Instagram on. It only has the Lux B shop, which is where I'm gonna have like all my products and stuff. That was another thing I wanted to talk to y'all about because Lux B, lashes, all of that is coming back. The, the skincare, the scrubs, all of that is coming back. The candles, it's coming back. Um, I want it to be under Lux B for sure. Um, I want it to be under Lux B, of course, but I think I'm still gonna have like a 111 collection just with my old stuff. I really just want it to be Lux B, but everybody's like, what will happen? Well, what happens to uh, uh, 111? So, yeah, I'm gonna just have a 111 collection just with the old stuff I used to have. But yeah, everything is still gonna be under Lux B. Hopefully, y'all can hear me from this. Everything's still gonna be under Lux B. I want some new stuff to come to Lux B, new products, all of that. But I'll get into that a little later. I'm about to get my chip for life. Nobody got a moment to keep a man down. So you see the things in your mind. Love you with passion. Okay, y'all. So I would like to shout out my sister for being my first ever model for lashing. I did a classic set on her, and y'all, I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. I kept saying, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. <laughs> throughout this whole clip and um, it actually turned out nice I didn't actually show you the finishing product but I should be able to post a picture on the screen if I still have it um, and also shout out to my best friend I also did her lashes in the next couple clips but yes y'all I was so nervous doing both of these sets for the very first time on a human but I hope you all enjoyed it
the next day. Sorry, I'm looking a mess. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Anyways, Nay is here, y'all. I'm doing her. Well, I did her lashes, y'all. Period. I did my sister's lashes yesterday. I'm doing her eyebrows, um, tinting and waxing. She's my little dummy. Say hey, Nay. <laughs> you talking about my little dummy? <laughs> Show the lashes. Look up, honey. Look up. Ooh, she cute. Y'all, I'm trying. So, yeah. We got about, what, five more minutes on this tent, and then we should be done. But, yeah, y'all, I'm tired. Say hey. Say, say good night. Okay. Come here, Nay. Come to the light, girl. Let them see the brows. Hold on, it's focus, focus. Oh, ooh, okay, okay. We did a tint and a wax, and we did some lashes. How do you feel? <laughs> good. You good. I feel really good. Would yeah. you come back? Of course. What? <laughs> I'm gonna come back. Get all your stuff I and get out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to bed. Good night. What's up, lovely people? It is actually the next day, y'all. I got my hair out, okay? It's swinging. You see it, you see it, you see it. But y'all, I'm about to make some dinner because it's like, I think it's like nine o'clock at night, to be honest. I just got back home from um, hanging out with my mom at Walmart and we went to the dollar store. And I got a lot of stuff for, um, you know, my lashes and my, my esthetician room, my, what they call it? Treatment room. There we go. But, I have so many things of HelloFresh, y'all. Do you see how many things of HelloFresh I got? Yeah, it's, it's getting a little ridiculous. I think I'm gonna have to um, put a pause on it because I got way too many meals and I'm not cooking enough. But tonight I'm cooking um, and I'm actually making this, making this sheet pan Dijon onion crunch chicken. This is what I'm making with some uh, green beans. But you know, I always gotta switch it up. So this chicken looks basic. They wanted me to put uh, crispy fried onions on it. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. And I made me some mashed potatoes for the side because I can't just be having green beans. Like I need some mashed potatoes. And what I did was cut the chicken, like cut the chicken cutlets like half and like halfway so I can make it like a stuffed chicken chicken breast i guess that's what it's called and i put some cream cheese and some spinach in it y'all I, I don't know what i'm doing we just gonna go with the flow but look this is what it looked like don't judge me y'all don't judge me so hopefully it comes out right i don't know what the uh mustard is for let me see i think i was supposed to actually put it in there somewhere oh i didn't even put no salt and pepper on this mug y'all i i'm just not a chef i don't, I don't know i don't know what i'm doing I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Hopefully it come out good though. Cause um, I'm starving. But um, yeah, let me put this in the oven real quick. Let me do my mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna show y'all what I got from the dollar store for my treatment room. So yeah. All right y'all, so I'm back. Sorry if the lighting is just off. I'm just, you know. I'm, a, I'm in my new little area for my treatment room for now until I move into my real street room. But I wanted to show y'all what I got from Amazon real quick. I got a few things from Amazon, but I had already put it up and I can't even remember what it was to be honest. But this is what I got in the mail today. I got some Barbicide. I got a sanitizing tray for my tweezers. Um, and I got one of these little water bottles for when I'm doing lashes and I need to clean them or whatever. Got a little water bottle for that. And I think that's all I got from Amazon today from from the package today but anyway i wanted to show y'all what i got from the dollar store i was on tiktok and this girl um she went to the dollar store and found like a whole bunch of stuff for her her room or whatever and i was like let me go ahead and do that and see what i could find but i actually seen this did i see this on tiktok or it might it might have been i think it might have been youtube and my battery's there so let me hurry up so I found this uh, soap dish where I can put my um, business cards in, got that. Um, I got some of these for when I do facials. I can just put the products in this, the little tray. And I did pick up some, um, I got a trash can because I had to use my 
bathroom trash can last night when I did her lashes and waxed her eyebrows. So got a new little trash can. And then I found these jars. They are so beautiful. So I got this one. My mom said I could just use for flowers, but I don't know. Um, and then I got these jars, y'all. I got three of these and they're purple, like my brand colors. And I'm just gonna put like cotton balls, um, the cotton rounds, you know, stuff like that. So they have, yeah. So I found all of this and I'm super excited to like decorate and whatnot, but I'm still nervous about the whole process because I really don't have any clientele right now. Just to keep it 100 with y'all, I am freaking out because I don't have any clientele but I believe in myself. I know I'm gonna do well. And yeah, so decorating is nothing. I just need to get to work, you know what I mean? And then decorating can come afterwards. That's not my main focus. My main focus is getting to work and get my clientele up so I can pay for this spot, you know? So y'all pray for me. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. My battery's about to die. I already put my chicken in the oven. Mashed potatoes is done. I'm putting my green beans on. And right now I'm about to go wash my dishes real quick. Cause you know, you gotta clean up as you go. You feel me? Um, but yeah, I will see y'all in a minute once my food is done. All right y'all, I'm upstairs. I'm so tired. It's like 10 o'clock. I cleaned up the kitchen, put everything away and um, made my plate. I forgot to show y'all, so here it is. So it turned out good, I'm about to taste it. So I will definitely let y'all know how it tastes later. <laughs> but tonight I'm about to eat this, probably watch me a movie and go to bed. So I will see y'all later.